The House on Acorn Street. When I was 14 my family and I fell on hard times. We got kicked out of our house and ended up in emergency housing, basically we went to charity who found us a house that we were able to rent for $100 a month, but only for 3 months. That summer, my mom and stepdad separated temporarily, and my 3 younger siblings would go to my stepdad's for a week or so then come back to my mom and me. This house was creepy. It started off with just the feeling, you know? Like, something isn't quite right, that you might not be the only person in the room. In the day, that's all it was, the feeling that something was up. Your instincts pricking at you. I tried to ignore it, but as soon as dusk arrived stuff would start happening. More than once I could hear this static-filled music playing, but I couldn't find the source, it just filled the halls. I heard whispering and went to my two sisters' room, in the open closet, a pair of eyes looked at me and disappeared. My brother spent one night in the house and didn't come back. In my room, I could never win. On one wall, a mirror, when I flipped over to face the window, I watched tall shadow figures pace in front of it. In my mother's room, the same shadow figures paced in circles around her room. One night, she and I sat up for two hours in her bed watching these shadows. She was strongly religious and didn't know what to make of it. During the time we lived there, there was a lunar eclipse. I had never seen one before and was very excited for it. When I went out to look, every time, this terror took over me and I couldn't stay outside, I couldn't explain it. When the moon was fully cloaked, I went outside, looked up, but my head suddenly snapped down and to my left. I could see three tall shadows walking in between the tall pine trees in the yard. Panicked, I ran back inside and into my room, flinging myself under the covers with my eyes shut tightly, but listened to the pacing outside my bedroom window. Three months of this. We moved out at the end of summer into a new house, my mom and stepdad got back together and I was with my younger siblings again. We all agreed the house on Acorn Street was messed up and still get chills when we drive by it, just to see.